Hi, I'm Steve from Pragmasys. Uh, we're the manufacturers of the Protector range of security chains. This is a brief video giving a glimpse into the importance of heat treatment. Unlike many other manufacturers, we buy raw chain from a chain factory and we put it through heat treatment, shot blasting, plating and de-embrittlement, all here in the UK and to our own spec, which has evolved over the years and which varies across our range. And the raw chain that comes in looks like this. So this is basically as welded, the welds have been cropped and that's it. So that's effectively our raw material, that's the starting point. It has not been heat treated for another purpose and that's important. Now heat treatment is crucial if you're trying to produce a top quality chain. So we use an aerospace grade heat treatment specialist as we need to achieve a demanding spec. Now some chains are case hardened and some chains are through hardened. This is a reflection of the hardness profile across a cross section of the material. So as you go deeper into the steel, the hardness can vary. This is a piece of 13 mil that's been through a lab test. Uh, this is an example where the surface has been polished and you probably can't see, um, but there are a couple of very, very small indentations where the hardness testing machine has been used to get a reading for the surface hardness. So that's the hardness of the skin, the case on the, on the material. Now also, um, across the cross section, um, the laboratory will do um, a series of tests to determine how that hardness varies as you go towards the middle of the, uh, of the cross section, towards the middle of the chain. Now case hardening gives increased hardness on the surface, but it is softer inside that hard skin. It'll stop hacksaws but it won't be much good in other respects. Through hardening basically makes the chain hard all the way through. So that can produce a chain that's very strong in a tensile load, but it also tends to be very brittle. Since thieves often use freezing and hammering attacks to defeat chains, especially of this sort of gauge actually, 13 mil, uh, and even more so perhaps for thinner chains, um, then uh, we really don't want a chain that's brittle. Um, and that's a common problem with chains that have been produced for other purposes as the requirements for security are different. That's why we buy this raw chain and we can do our own thing to get the right result. We case harden all our chains, but that is a simplification. Case hardening is easy, but a fully soft core is also gonna be weak in tension. We need a hard case in order to stop the hacksaws, but we need to do more than that. Now, many people don't realize that a bolt cropper attack often results in a tensile failure due to the wedging action of the jaws being brought together. So if you imagine you've got two jaws pushing towards each other, the chain is actually being stretched and that's how it can fail. So if we're going to stop bolt croppers, we need tensile strength in addition to that hard case. We also need some solidity to give support to the case, or it could be like just thin ice on the surface of a pond. Uh, so we actually use materials that allow us to get a, um, a subtle and controllable amount of ductility combined with strength from the core of the chain. We don't want it fully hard through the core, absolutely, but we also don't want it fully soft, so it's a careful balance. Now getting that balance right is, um, um, is not so easy, so that's why we use a specialist company and we do a lab test on every single batch so we can check what we're producing. The heat treatment itself is done in computer controlled furnaces and after heat treatment the chain tends to look like this. So ordinarily this would now go on for shot blasting before final finishing and creating the final product. This particular load is 300 kilos and it's a rare example where that computer controlled system went wrong and basically we've ended up with the case about 30% thicker than it should be as revealed by the lab test. There's nothing we can do to fix that without compromising other aspects of our spec. So we're scrapping this, it will get recycled. Um, but better that than to produce a product which is inferior. So there you go, that's a brief overview into some of the subtleties of heat treatment when trying to produce a, a top quality security chain. Uh, I hope that's been interesting. Um, there's more information about our range of products on our website. Uh, thank you very much.